Today, journalist Christopher Booker published an article in The Telegraph claiming that NOAA have been tampering with temperature data in Paraguay to make it look as though the country was getting warmer. Let's take a look at this claim. Booker shows graphs from a weather station called Puerto Casado. We can take a look at that station in the NOAA data. We see a steady temperature increase of about 1.5 degrees Celsius over the last half century. But Booker claims that this increase is a result of adjustments to the data. So let's check the raw data. And he's right, the raw data actually show a drop in temperature over the same period. So why are NOAA adjusting the data? The temperature records are based on weather station data. But people didn't expect the data to be used for monitoring long-term climate change when they started collecting it. It was for recording the weather, hence the name weather station. As a result, they weren't always very careful about changes to the instruments or their usage. When we change an instrument, we have to recalibrate to ensure the new instrument gives the same readings as the old one. The original weather station operators didn't always do this. So NOAA have to do a retrospective cal calibration by comparing nearby weather stations. Puerto Casado shows a big drop in temperature around 1970, and another around 2000. That would usually mean a calibration problem, but it could be real. Let's check a couple of nearby stations. Concepcion shows a similar drop around 1970. And so does Bahia Negra. That suggests that the drop might be real. What about a station outside Paraguay? Las Lomitas does not show the same drop. Could the temperature drop be specific to one country? It could if there were a change in operating practices in that country. So let's try building a temperature record for Paraguay using only stations located just outside the country. When we do this, we don't see the big drop around 1970 or 2000. And if we compare our new record with the NOAA record using the adjusted stations within Paraguay, they're pretty similar. An independent check using a different set of stations suggests that there is a calibration issue with the Paraguay data and that NOAA have fixed it. Let's look for another independent check. Berkeley Earth start from the raw data and apply their own calibrations and they also show a steady warming trend for Paraguay. This isn't proof, but it at least looks likely that NOAA got it right. The next step would be to check with NOAA and with people in Paraguay. But let's for a moment assume that Booker is right and that NOAA are tampering with the data. We can calculate a global land temperature record using the NOAA adjusted data. And then we can do the same calculation with the raw unadjusted data. The adjusted data do show a little bit less warming, but only about 10% less over the last 50 years. And remember, this is land-only data. Two-thirds of the planet is ocean, which isn't affected by the weather station adjustments. If we consider the whole planet, the NOAA adjustments make only about 3% difference to the amount of warming over the last 50 years. So Booker's claim is that NOAA are tampering with the data to make it look as though global warming is happening about 3% faster than reality. Why would they do that?